In today's Warzone 3 video, I got you guys a 40 bomb gameplay rocking the best long range weapon in the game, the Polmot 762. Now, you guys know I usually play solo quads, but in today's video, we squatted up with the boys. So, a 40 kill game is even crazier considering I had three teammates. But let me know your guys' favorite primary weapon in Warzone 3 right now. For me, it's got to be this Polmot 762. You guys are going to see in the gameplay, man. This thing is an absolute beast. And as always, I hope you guys enjoy. You're not touching the ground, bud. <laughs> not touching the ground either. No way he's alive. I'm landing on him. Oh, oh. Oh my god, on the roof. They're all up there. Fuck. Right on me, right Jake, on me. One more behind you, Jake. Woo! This kid doesn't even know what just happened to him. He said, How did he hit me with one shot when I throw a knife? Got one knocked. I could have. Yeah. You get my thirst to your left, to your left. Yep, yep, he's dead. Uh, can y'all get UAVs there? How many people are rotating to my left right now? Yeah, a ton of people coming from Mar right now. No! Top I need help up top. Or he's in the window, one of the two. Dude, I got 21 already, and there's 45 people up. Shit. I five. There's fucking 45 people left already. Holy. Run! Your squad mates back on station. Oh my god. Good work. There's so many people on me though. Nope. This guy just landed on me. I'm literally surrounded. Dude, I feel that. He just beat the shit out of me. No, I'm around the corner, bro. I have 24 and there's 38 off. But I just hit a reset. Oh, come on. 
so bad. On me, Trey. On me, Trey. On me, Trey. Oh, customs are right there, bro. Right below me. I heard him when I was going up. Directly below. Is this your haymaker? Yeah. All these kids have to rotate. All these kids have to rotate. Up top, up top, up top, top chapel, top chapel. Oh. I just played that like a bot. Damn, I thought you said that because you were spawning back. No, dude, I was just, uh, I was like, ready to play. He's still up there, he's still up there. <laughs> he's still up there. Fuck. Oh my god. Uh oh. We get 40, bro. We gotta do something about these kids sniping, bro. Got our loadouts coming. Or we got a loadout right here too. Shit. All right, it's, a, it's time to go to work. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! No, I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I need this ammo below. I got a munition box. Got one down. Oh my god. Try to ping him for him. He's right behind me in the water. I can't move. Right here, right here. More left. I think he's in the water over here on me. Yeah, I got him absolute in the water, but my bullets won't hit him anymore. I need two. Right here, right here. He's selfing. Selfing. One dude left. He's still in the water, I think. Yeah, check under, like, under shit. Could be under the boats. Well, can't even I'm see. He can't be in the water. Oh. On me, here he is, right here. Hey! Oh my god! Oh my god! So, if you guys did enjoy today's gameplay, man, I'm gonna go ahead and build you the Pullmot 762 class we were using. So, starting it off, we're gonna go with the VT7 Spirit Fire Suppressor to make you undetectable by the radar, give you some recoil control, bullet velocity, and some damage range. Coming up next, we wanna throw in an underbarrel, and it's gonna be this B052 grip for some recoil steadiness, recoil stabilization, aim walking steadiness. This thing really brings down the recoil on the Pullmot, so I highly recommend. Now, for the optic, as you guys know, optic always comes down to personal preference but my favorite optic to run on basically all primaries in warzone 3 right now is going to be this Carrillo eagle's eye 2.5x now next up we have the most important attachment that we need for the pullmot 762 class this is going to be the jack annihilator bullpup kit this is going to really up the mobility and handling the rate of fire the aim down sight speed and the hip fire and tax stand spread this is going to make the pullmot handle like an assault rifle while it's going to be a big lng with a ton of damage so highly recommend the jack annihilator bullpup kit this is a must use now once you guys do throw on the bullpup kit it's going to give you an extra barrel you can use which is called the jack annihilator long barrel this is going to give you more bullet velocity and range once you put on the conversion kit the bullpup kit this is the only barrel you can use so trust me it is absolutely worth it throwing the jack annihilator long barrel now that's going to be the full pull mod 762 build i was using in today's gameplay try it out for yourselves let me know the highest kill gameplay you guys get with it and as always i will see you guys in the next one peace